G'day guys and welcome back to episode 3 of the Let's Build a Small Little House. Now, if you haven't seen the first and second episodes, the link will be in the description down below. On the second episode, uh, something happened with my recorder and uh, I was recording and yeah, it was on pause. <laughs> so... This episode, I'm going to make sure it's all recording all nicely, and uh, we're going to make some progress on this today, guys. So let's just move that out of the way. And uh, I think on the last episode, I said we're going to do something out here and around the corner here. So uh, yeah, let's get started. So what I might do is do the inside first, and I think why not, I'll just give you a quick demo in case... I've done anything in here without recording. I don't know if I put that in in the last episode. Uh, just a bit of cobblestone wall, a bit of birch wood slabs across to match it up with a fridge and just a little pot plant with a fern in it. Um, I put all this in, I've done all the lights, a little tap in the sink and our dishwasher we've got. And uh, yeah, so I think we've done all that in the last episode. What we might do as we come back to the lounge room, I think what we might do is go and do the bathroom and the bedroom today. And uh, let's start off with the big bed. Okay, so what, what we're going to do first is actually you might do the ceiling. So what we might do is just pop in, shall we just close that off, and we'll pop in two lights here, and we'll pop in two lights here. Yeah, that'll look good. Okay, so what we're going to do is just going to dig out two layers since we've done our roof three layers in height. And what we might do then is just grab our stuff that we need. So forward slash give me number 62, which is the furnace. We're just going to pop that up in there and up in here. And we're just going to grab our red block as we use and our trusty tool. As I said in the last episode, I think if you haven't got world edit, you can just use glowstone, which will pretty much give you the same effect. Just pop glowstone up there, maybe layer it off with a bit of glass block. Choice of color, like blue or whatever color you want. Looks really good. But if you've got world edit, just cover it up with a color block. Left and right click. And you can do replace. I think it is 3514, if I can remember correctly, and just change it to pot, and it didn't work. Ah, okay. I don't know if I did this in the last episode. If you type slash slash fast, it's going to come up with saying that you know you can you can do things now, and make things hover. Okay, a lot of people have been sending me messages. How do you make ice and snow caps float? Well, slash slash fast, it should do it. So just pop your things back in there again. Replace 3514 with pot, and there you go. And we'll pop in the ones over here as well, just to do the same. Left and right. What's not going on here? Right and left. I think I'm lagging out here. So left and right. Replace 3514 with pot and that will embed the lights for you. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna work out what color bed we're gonna have. And now I like black wool for the bed because if you lay down black wool, you can work with any color with black and it looks really good so I'm going to bring this out to like that so 4 by 4 which will give you the perfect square bed and uh, it will do something different knock out this one and this one okay and what we're going to do here I'm assuming should we go for, yeah, we'll go for red, we'll go for red. 
Alright, so you've knocked out the first two blocks like that. So if we put down two reds like this, this is going to give you an idea what to do. Grab some red carpet. Place your red carpet here and here. On top of the two red blocks. Back on the top here and here just like that. It just looks like the actual bed quilt is actually coming off the bed a bit. Does that look right? Uh, I don't know about that. Actually what we're going to do is we'll bring up the red up a bit further. Like that out these two, place these two. So it just looks like there's a bit of a quilt that's overhanging off the bed. Just like that. And there's more shapes to it as well. And I, I really like it. With your snow, um, we'll put our snow as pillows. So one, two, one, two, one, one. His and hers. Obviously, the guy's got a heavier head. Maybe. Maybe she's got the heavier head. <laughs> Depends on who's on the other side. Well, this could say it could be the female side. You know, she's always pulling the blankets off the guy, leaving him over here with nothing. <laughs> Don't get angry with me. I'm just it's what I've heard. What I've heard. So we've got our little bed happening, and we've got our pillows, and we've got our lights. Now, there's a lot of things we can actually do in this room itself. So usually people have side tables. Yeah, it's all good in theory and good and everything like that, but we're going to change it up. So I might just use white as well with a white background there. I'm just going to layer it up like that maybe. Come up here and maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, and just layer it up. So you've got that just like a little bit of a border in here. And what you could do is knock out that and that's where you have your alarm clock, whatever. There's already got some shapes here. And I suppose you could also use stone slabs. I mean, that, that would probably look good as well. If you wanted to break up the color just that little bit more. Um, let's have a look. That's what it looked like with the color slabs. But I thought the white with the white, different textures would look pretty snazzy. So in the meantime, because we haven't got a clock, I'm just gonna put a pot plant and we'll put some nice blue flowers in there as well. Just to put something in there for the time being. There you go. All right. Now, a bedroom needs a mat. Okay, so since the bed is red and black, I'm gonna separate the colors a bit more. I'm thinking black, obviously. Keep our snow, because we're gonna use that. And uh, maybe a light gray to match the rest of the tiles. So what we're going to do is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it stretches the full distance of one block either side. And I think what we might do as well is uh, right here and here. Just grab a snow, put a snow like that. So it matches the pillows and it's lifted off as off off there as well, just that one little bit of the carpet. And I think right here, we knock out that one, and this one, knock out that, and grab a sign, and we're going to put the signs inside just to give it that extra shape. Now, you could either run it sideways or on an angle. I'm just going to pop mine sideways, just like that, and then just cover it back off with carpet. And you've got three textures in that one carpet map, just like that. Oh. Alright, and I think that looks pretty snazzy. So we'll keep that. Over here we've got this little sort of frame. So what we might do here is just put like a side table um, sort, of, sort of thing. Just grab a bit of a table. And I'm not the best doing interiors, guys. I'm, I'm still learning how to do all this nice fancy stuff. But you can put a little table there, have nothing on it. We can put another pot plant 
or an alarm clock, that would be good. Here, uh, what we might do is just put a nice little picture. Just grab a little picture. No. Now I'm on the server where you can actually rotate through pictures. And well, the small ones don't give you much option. So we'll bag that and we'll come down a bit further. Let's see what happens here. Take them out for a minute. Um, I'm just going to leave this here for a second so I can have a quick think on what we're going to do. So we've got that happening. What we could also do as well is grab our slabs and if you wanted to we can put our little side table here like so and maybe fill that in with a sign I think. Put a stein sign here make it look like it's a set of drawers. Put, put a draw here as well, just like that. Maybe put that here. Yeah, that looks a good, pretty good. Just leave it as is. I'll do the same on this side as well. Make it all look even. So there's that's a sort of basic design um, for the side tables and that his and hers. Got a nice little shape happening here. I mean, if you wanted to, I suppose you could run it back just like that to get more shape. But I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, another thing what we could do as well is maybe we could knock out that, put in a black glass block just like that. And with the signs, we could run our sign that and maybe some decoral lag there a bit of decoration maybe with some concrete buttons just a bit of a decoration it's that way you can still see in you can still see out and it looks it looks pretty good so I'll keep that I'll keep that still not sure what I'm gonna do here we'll work something out on the front of the bed, what you could do if you wanted extra shape, just pop in a couple of signs, maybe not there, just like that. Maybe it's a drawer that can come out, slide out, that'll work. Still looks a bit plain in here, needs a bit more colour. I might change this off. But anyway, I'm going to leave this room for a minute, I'm going to come in here and work on the bathroom. So. Obviously, you've got your wide door. Um, you're going to have to have a shower here, so it's going to be a tight squeeze. Now, with the showers, I like using the cyan stained glass panes and white. It just brings a bit of color with the white, and it looks really effective too. So, as you see, the white. And we can also color match up the top as well. So we'll just pop this in here like that. And put one up here like so. And put the white in there. So beautiful color. Oh, in my opinion anyway. So you come in here, don't need another wall of glass. So what we could do is right here is put in a a lever and Put a lever up there, just like that. There's your shower, and we'll go with a wooden button, like that. Right in the center, I'm just gonna knock that out and knock down another one. And we're gonna grab a hopper. I'm just gonna place your hopper down there because that can be like a drain pipe. And with that, you need a trap door as the grate where the water's gonna go down. All right. In here as well, what you could do is maybe, you know, you could have a little chair or you could have like a soap dish, like so. 
but once again I like to keep my shower pretty much basic I don't like to overdo it in such a small compact space um, I mean you could suppose if we got some iron frames popped our iron frames in here and here and chuck in glass panes of hot and cold now the reason why I'm gonna do this I think this is right hot and cold you can turn this right to cool or left to hot and then when you've got the right temperature you just pop the button out and then you've got the set temperature so we'll just we'll just keep it like that it might look a bit plain and derpy you can do it other ways as I said this is just a basic build guys um, just, a, just a quick one to show you and uh, what we might do as well might put a window up the top and uh, yeah we'll just go and grab a, another dark dark block so that way when it's steamy people can see in and you know, if you're romantic you can just pop your head over and say oh yeah I'm on my way baby right so in here the door seems a bit wide to put in a loo so I'm just gonna pop these out like so and I'm gonna bring the door in just one block like that all right because what you could do if you come in you can pop around a corner and you've got your toilet here but people there would be able to see through so we're gonna have to put it say here all right and what I do for my basic toilets is I just put a slab and pretty much a pressure plate on top and it's just a standard basic toilet I mean you can make fancy ones yeah you can but a basic slab it looks pretty cool I like that and obviously you grab yourself a pot you just pop your pot in there because that's where you put your toilet brush and yeah I'm not gonna get into all of that but <laughs> You just grab your toilet brush and put it in there, and happy days, okay? Right here, next to the toilet, well, we could put it here, I guess. It's just one sink, all right? And you just grab a hopper and pop in your sink like that. Maybe grab another lever, and we'll pop the lever like that, all right? It's, it's a small compact space. I love working in, in compact spaces. It just tests your ability of what you can come up with in, in small spaces and I, and I love it. So here's your little sink. It's, it's probably a derpy as bathroom but it, it, it just works. It works. So much color, light coming through. So we'll grab our carpet now and I from my bathroom I tried to match up the best I can with the shower glass and that's pretty much just cyan but I'm using blue uh, you can symbolize it I don't like the green greenish color carpet it just yeah it's just not good just run a carpet as like a shower mat so you've come in you've, you've had your shower come out you wipe your feet and then you gotta yeah, go to the bathroom whatever in here as well what we could do is we could put all that stuff back um, we're just gonna have a test to see if this is gonna work so bit of glass bit of glass and our iron bars nice little walkway it fits it nice the um, hopper matches the black with the outline of the frames the gray matches the top here and obviously you've got your wood grain to match the buttons and the lever and your item frames so there's a lot of blending and matching colors the only thing that's not really matching is the blue mat with the cyan glass and I'll give you a quick reason why I don't like using cyan see the different texture it's like blue and green so I just stick with the blue it's the closest match now what we need to do as well guys if you wanted to you could also put in a a little handrail if you wanted to here 
don't see why you need one unless you're elderly but I like to put in ladders and I like to put ladders in like that and that and that will be your tower holder and if you're in the UK uh, you can get in the modern houses tower holders that actually warm up through the pipes in the walls so you put your towel on there and as soon as you come out from the shower on a cold morning you've got a heated towel that warms you up so I like to put them in there uh, maybe not two maybe one just looks good but I'm gonna pop in two for this one and it depends on how high you want them I just like mine at that level here in the corner as well um, what you could do is maybe put in a shelf and for a bit of color just grab yellow dandelions and another pot and one of my friends always says you always finish your sentence Z with a pot and a flower which is Razor 007 and he's one of the guys I've been teaching how to do modern stuff and he loves it so quick shout out there to you Razor but there's a basic bathroom you got your toilet you got your toilet brush holder um, obviously with your player head for the toilet paper you put that there nice little of, um, shelf with a bit of uh, color little tap obviously I've got a button I'm not sure if we can put a button there we'll give it a shot uh, put a button can we put one there no we can't because we could put one up higher yeah that will work and we've got our mat we've got our towel holder hot and cold with so the taps we've got our little drainage system and we've got a little glass up the top there and once again what we can do as well if you want to separate that we can just make it like this it's just extra pattern to match it in with this and we could go like that maybe a bit of pattern probably looks derpy but yeah maybe like that maybe that could work that could work indeed I'm um, still not sure what we're going to do with this wall I'm going to come back to it I'm not going to forget and that bit there so actually I've got an idea what do we got? a cage of wood we could use a cage of wood try this guys I'm not going to say this is going to look any good but we're going to try it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 1 1, 2 ok, that fits that separates the colours and it's matching from out there interior Could work. That could work. Yeah. As I said, we'll come back. We'll come back. Okay. So in here is going to be the ti uh, dining uh, TV room. As soon as you come in the front door. So what I'm thinking is we might put a big light running down into strips. So one, two, three. One, two, three. That should be center with the black. Oh no, I'm gonna do it here. One, two, three. Cover this back in. So that's the wall separator. It matches in, it fits, and uh, it's not too much light. The TV. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just pop these out. One, two, and three. Pop in our furnaces like that and we'll just leave them there for one second because we're going to work on our TV so with our TV what I like to use is cracked stone bricks if you use a flows texture pack it doesn't matter what sort of style you're looking for I just like to use them up because it separates the colors the black lines black um, glass frames and the darker gray so sort of like put this gray white and black together gives you this sort of color and black wool obviously for the TV screen I just put three across so that way if you wanted to you could actually grab yourself a um, 
what is it? A stone slab, and that could be like your DVD player or if you're old VCR or something like that. I also like to place a button, and the button will symbolize just the on off switch, TV tuner, or something like that. And down the bottom here, I also like to put some signs to make it look like a set of drawers. So one, two, and that's my basic TV setup. Just like that. And um, yeah, so that way you, you, you'll be able to put player heads or whatever on, on there for like speakers or something. Here, we're gonna do a small couch. And I'm gonna use quartz stairs and I'm going to use uh, white slabs and I'll be using snow as well but I'm just going to work this out so we are five one two three four five so five blocks and I'm going to put it back here one two and I'll put one this way no I'm going to put one I'm going to do this this way no pop that like that okay and in line with this one, one, and I'll pop it this way. Looking good, looking good. So I'm gonna pop one this way as well, so it gives you that sort of like corner edge, like so. Pop that around. And with your slab, I'm just gonna place a slab at the back. All right, so you've got your armrests and stuff. Uh, what we could do as well, maybe a slab here and a slab here nice big sofa in front of the TV and what we could do is also grab a grey carpet grey carpet just test this out and with snow let's have a look at this now I don't know what this is going to come out like guys so one two three one two three one two three Looks like a nice, nice sort of sofa. Modern. Not too keen on the flat side though. And we can just pop out that, because we don't need that. Yeah, we can live with that. Uh, maybe we could darken it up a bit with dark grey carpet. Maybe run Maybe run the carpet going around the back as well, like so. That looks something really different. One, two, one. Oh, there we go. That looks something completely different. I'm not too keen about that, so maybe, maybe that will fit a bit better. So it's an illusion of it blends in, it matches in with this corner right across here, but the illusion is there's nothing at the back. I'm going to stick with that, guys. Let us know what you think of the couch design. Uh, should we take this off, maybe? And leave it like that? I don't know. Give us your feedback on the couch, guys, what we should have done. Should we add the carpet right across? or leave it just like that. Not too sure. Anyway, so we've got that. Now, what we could do now as well, after we could put in a carpet here, just a little runner. And we've got to match in the colors, so light gray and dark gray, I think I'll choose for this one. So we could choose like that, maybe one, two, one, two. separate the colors there we go so it's in line with the drawer and obviously the dirtier flooring going into the drawers so okay now our next thing what we could do is pop in our lights that we forgot to do so we grab our red 
Pop our red in. One, two, three. One, two, three. Grab our trusty wand. One, two. So it's right across. Set as pot. Ah, oh, undo. Replace 3514 with pot. There we go. And that gives us a nice layer of color shining down. We've got our nice little wall separator, little TV. Still got to do a lot of work on the walls because uh, they're a bit plain. I'm thinking about separating here as well. But we've got a little lounge room here, TV. Got our little apartment kitchen, and we've got our basic start of a bedroom and our bathroom. So what I might do, guys, is I might just leave it here right now, and uh, I'll come back on the fourth episode and try and get all of it done and completed to finish the let's build. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video and have any comments that you would like to say to me to add, maybe add something to the house, place them down below in the comment section. That would be fantastic. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Till next time, I'll catch you on the next one.